Um, okay, so um, this is a tutorial on how to um, on how to make a Ripper from 1996 work on a DOS box uh, on a modern PC. Um, it took me a while to find out. I'm gonna uh, link at least a video of a comment that I found this out because I would have figured it out without th their help, basically. But um, uh, first, um, you basically have to um, take a copy of your Ripper uh, CD files. Uh, which image burn that I used and then you have uh, I, I do it like this I make a folder called uh, Ripper uh, ISO and uh, then I have six copies of them here or here <laughs> uh, but basically um, uh, what I do is uh, after I've done this and uh, uh, what you kind of need is a diamond tools uh, thing that kind of can mount uh, the Ripper ISO file which I have here mounted so that's all figured out. So once you've done that uh, mounted Ripper 1 ISO file, um, and then you can start DOSBox. I'm just gonna hide a little bit here. Um, let's see here. Okay, so um, so what you have to do here first is um, uh, don't mount any drive files because uh, that for some reason screws it up actually. Um, for some reason. Um, so here, here's what you gotta do. Um, the destination of uh, your file is important to mount here actually because that one is actually what you do first before uh, running the game. So um, uh, so let's see, here's C Ripper ISO. So that means in this case, uh, mount C C Ripper ISO. Okay, so now, now it's mounted basically. So now all we have to do is uh, type C and uh, colon. And now it's mounted here. So uh, now you have to type in this one, image mount. Um, uh, so the, here's the important thing, um, because I have um, I have the drive Ripper on E, so that's my drive file. So that's what you want to uh, mount it, the image mount to. Uh, but uh, but it's very important to not mount it at the beginning, um, because you need to do this to make it work in a sense. Um, uh, you understand? Uh, basically, um, so in this case, it's E. And now you type in the name of uh, the file. So a uh, Ripper ISO um, Ripper to ISO. It's very important to get the name right because it's ca it can be kind of hard to forget to put space if you don't remember where it is. So ISO five ISO Ripper six ISO. Okay, so now we have it all. Uh, all the Ripper uh, files here. So after that. T uh, minus T C the ROM. And uh, now it should all work. I had trouble with figuring this out in the beginning because I didn't understand it. But now, now basically, now you have it all figured out. Uh, this is something that you have to do every time you start it. Though. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to do, but it works at least. Um. Okay, so now I'm gonna, um, now I'm gonna go to E because now it's mounted already. So this is, um, uh, so in ter because I need to install it. So uh, that's why I'm gonna mount E. Um, normally, um, you could just uh, go to uh, uh, the, where the Ripper is installed, but uh, I mean, you have to do this process every time you start, though. Uh, you know, with the whole thing, uh, with uh, mounting the files of Ripper ISO, uh, the thing that I did here, and then you could go to the, uh, the to the basic the Ripper file where it's installed next time. I'm gonna show you actually, but just to, I'm gonna install it first, just to show you here. Okay, continue. And it's gonna install. You see here the Ripper file on the right there. It's installed now. So now it's checking here. Okay, so now it's uh, testing. So I'm gonna test. Um, enter. Initiating take two wave calibration. Yeah, sounds good. I'm gonna have high resolution, and I guess I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not. I'm not sure if this is recommended, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, if you're unsure, then maybe you should go with this one. But I'm just gonna test it with this one. Just see. Okay, so now it's installed. Um, uh, so now it should work if I type Ripper here. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Just uh, gonna. Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, link here. Um, okay, so um, just to see here, I'm just gonna take a little bit down in the volume. Um, okay, so now you see that the game works basically. Um, I guess I'm just gonna see how the game works first and then I'm gonna turn it off okay so we see here um, 
Okay, so, um, yeah, so you can see that it works. So I'm just gonna shut it down. Okay, so, okay, so now we have it installed. It's here. So next time we started, uh, what now? How do you start it? And here's the thing. You do it like the same thing I did the first time. Um, mount C, C, uh, Ripper, uh, ISO. Because that's where uh, your ISO file is, and that's how you have to find that find the stuff out. You don't you just start this with mount stuff right here at first, and then again, C, and then image mount um, uh, E because that's uh, where our drive is. Um, you know, uh, if you remember, that's where our uh, our CD basically is. Okay, I'm just gonna take it down here just to show here. Okay, so. Um, Oh, I forgot. Uh, I don't think I have to take the call there. Um, okay, so image mount E, uh, Ripper uh, 1 ISO, Ripper 2 ISO, Ripper 3 ISO, Ripper 4 ISO, Ripper 5 ISO, Ripper 6 ISO, uh, and then minus T CD ROM. Okay, so now we see. Um, okay, so now we don't have to install this again though, because now we have it. Um, I'm gonna try to see if it works, but. Um, yeah, I think I have to mount the... Uh, uh, okay, so um, let's go to CD, ra CD Ripper. Ripper. Yeah, so, so you just type CD Ripper next time. At the end here, and that's all you have to do. So now it should work again. I was going to show one thing here. Um, um, you may wonder, um, how do you change uh, CD ROMs? Uh, just a second here, I'm just going to show you. Because you wonder uh, if you have full screen, how you're going to change it? Um, you actually uh, press Control and F4 like this. So now it should be on disk two. You see uh, even in the information here. So if you try to start a new game, uh, arrow playing, uh, it doesn't work because uh, it's on disk two, right? So you can't really do it. And I'm going to try to start it on disk one just to see if it works here. Maybe it's a bug now, but. Uh, Exit. Yes, quit game. Okay, so, uh, but now it should work if I have start a new game now. Okay, so that's why it, uh, so that's, so we see how you, how, it, how easy it is to switch uh, disks. So, so basically it mounts uh, the, the, um, all the, the files in here because of this thing I did right now. It's a very complicated process, but it works if you follow my directions here. Um, even installing it and after installing it. And all you have to do to change is Control plus F4. Just press it at the same time, and it should switch between discs. You can even do it in full screen. So yeah. Yeah, I'm also going to show you another thing here. Um, yeah. So we see why this looks weird here. Uh, well, that's because um, I'm going to take this because I do think it's better, but. Double buffer, you have to have it on and you click next now, then it works. So uh, that's why it looks a little bit weird. Uh, it's gonna go away once you talk to this person here. Yeah, so, um, uh, so we see it, it works here, but uh, yeah, so now it works. Um, yeah, now it's not buggy here, but I think the only thing that, um, that I don't know how to fix though in terms of glitch. Is um, when whenever you take up the phone thing, uh, the the t portable phone, which is called WAC in this game, um, it kind of glitches with cutscene, but you can still hear it, so it's not like it doesn't work. But uh, I don't know how to fix that one. But um, but this is at least a tutorial on how to um, um on how to uh, play the game on uh, on a PC, uh, on a DOS basically. Uh, so yeah, it should work now, everything and all that. So. So you see how it, how it works here. Um, but yeah, the only thing that I can't fix is basically um, uh, the whack thing. Uh, so sorry uh, if if people know how to fix that one, that would be great. But yeah, I'm just gonna. This is just me uh, telling you how to play this game on a on a DOS box. It uh, works very great if you see here. So um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you and thank you for watching. Um, I'm just gonna take down, uh, save this recording now. So thank you for watching this video and bye.